Hello and welcome. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and a Canva creator ambassador for the UK. I absolutely love Canva and I love sharing little mini tutorials and features and things like that that you can try at home and create some amazing graphics for your business. So that's what this channel is all about. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create what could be a full social media post for your business but using a really retro font style okay so i'm going to go over to my screen and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean okay so this is the type of post i'm going to be showing you how to create with this really retro looking font and funky background so you could use this as a post in itself, really, or you could just take the style of font and add it to another social media post. I'm going to add a page to this design and just show you from scratch how to do this, but you can open any size um, template that you like in Canva by going to home and clicking on the creator design post. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it within here. So first of all, we need some text. So I've just added a paragraph box and I'm gonna add my text in here. So anchor online designs. And I want them to be one after the other, like we've got here. So I just moved the sides in. So I've got my words one below the other dragged out the little white dots a bit so they're a bit bigger and I'm going to change the font by going over to this box here. Now I like this one, Shrik Hand, I think that's how you say it, it looks a lovely funky font. So now I've got my font, the spacing between the lines is a little too big, I want to reduce the spacing. So this one here is called spacing and you can reduce your letter spacing or your line spacing. I'm going to just close up the lines, the letter spacing ever so slightly, and I've just reduced the line spacing ever so slightly as well. So now I've got my font. OK, so if I wanted to change the colour of the font so I want it yellow pink green blue black red whatever color you want change it now before we do the next part so I'm going back to my text I'm actually just gonna reduce them ever so slightly more so they're nearly touching and let's say we're doing this post above so I want them to be a nice yellow yeah, that's quite a nice yellow. So I've got my font. I now need to download this as a PNG. So I'm going to take the first page out because I've got the page above, but you will only have one page. Click done and download. So that's now downloading my page for me. I'll save it to my desktop. And now I don't need that anymore. I'm going to go over to my uploads, upload media, desktop, and it's that one, my retro text. I'm going to add this to my design. You do need the background remover tool, um, which you have in Canva. So I've added my now image of my text onto my design. Click edit image. I've got the background remover tool, remove the background or go over to remove.bg, which is a brilliant website, and it will remove the background for you. So two different options there. So now I have my font. How do I get that funky out to line? I'm just going to enlarge this so you can see it better. Click on your now image, click edit image. We want the shadows option. Now I'm going to choose the first one, which is glow, and you can see it's given it a shadow. Click it again and it opens options. Transparency, we want it solid. Blur, you can have a lovely blur in the background if you wanted to, but again, we want this solid. 
And then the last one is your size. Now, as you can see, the bigger the size, the chunkier the line around. You can go really chunky if you want to, or you can just give it a nice subtle outer line. You can even change the color. So I could now give it a really funky color. And that is how you make your text. I'm just gonna angle it slightly. I think it looks quite funky with an angle. I've gone for a blue on this one. So I'm gonna change my background using my brand colors. And I love this, this element, this line flashing out element. I love this. Now I've used it here um, and it's the keywords for it are pattern, background, retro style, vector illustration design. So if we go over to elements and type in background retro. We get these types of um, elements come up and they're awesome. So this one I love because I can change the color. So I'm just going to stretch it out, change it to my brand color, give it a fun angle and then position it to the back. So now you can see you're beginning to build this really fun design. I could change the transparency slightly just so it's not so in your face with that deep color. And then I love these little stars. I think they look really good on these retro style designs. So let's type in retro star and see what you get. There's lots of funky stars. Oh, this is cool. And you can change the colors. So you can change the colors to your brand. to all to match the design. And you can pop a couple of these on here as well. So now you're beginning to build a really funky retro style template that you can use within your business. Stands out using your brand colors and it looks fun. You can stretch out this background to fill the entire design if you want to as well. So you've now, it looks like your main text is coming up at you out of the post. So with this one, I used a black background and a very subtle yellow um, and teal background for it. And this particular star, which star vector illustration symbol abstract, these are keywords you can search to find them. But to find this one, I typed in retro star and then retro background. So use the keyword retro to find different elements that you can use to create something like this with this funky outline. But you mustn't forget, you do have to download your font so that you can then add the glow into your text. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed that. I think that's a really lovely looking post. You can use it for all sorts. You could use it for your business name. You could use it for a product, jewelry makers. You could use it for your items. You could even use it for a service. I think it's a fun, very eye-catching type of template and design that you can create in Canva yourself. So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you click the follow button and follow me because I've got tons of other videos all planned in to go in to this channel throughout the rest of this year.